Some have called it Britain's Sistine Chapel, unprepossessing from outside, a kind of crematorium school of architecture. But it hides within it one of the most remarkable series of 20th century murals in Western Europe. The great war artist Stanley Spencer was asked by the Berens family to paint in memory of a relative, Lieutenant Harry Sandham, who fell in the battle for Salonika in the First World War. And paint he did, listening to bark fugues on an old gramophone, conjuring scenes from his own service as a medical orderly behind the lines in the self-same battle. Bed changing in the ward, an eiderdown and a hot water bottle under the feet to keep the soldier patient warm. Intricate nets to guard against the ever-present mosquitoes. Feeding time for the able-bodied whilst others slept beyond. Painting iodine on nasty skin wounds and so much more. But as Stanley painted, his two little daughters, Unity and Shireen, were never far from his side, now 84 and 89 respectively. One a babe, one a toddler. You can even spot them in the murals. Which, which of you is that? You were... I were a baby in arms. So I think this is you. Yeah. And I used to what do you think, with... Shireen? Sorry? Is it you or is it Unity? I think it's Unity. The sisters have lived with the murals and their father's fame all their lives. Do you have a favourite? In this room? Yes. I've never thought about it, actually. I've never given it a thought. I just find them all rather wonderful, to be honest. This is a building that you just, uh, you know, you find more things all the time. I know, every time. It all, it's just comes gradually. I love that one. Well, it's a marvellous composition. And the colours... The, the waterworks. The water one. Yeah. And the colours are so amazing. How old were you when you discovered that this was a very great thing oh, to have done? Now, that was something. We were visiting the Barons and they took us to see the chapel. And I remember being terribly shocked. Terribly shocked. And we walked back to their house. My head was hanging down because I no longer had a daddy. Well, no, he was a... Everybody he was famous. He was no longer my daddy. Apparently, when he was in the chapel painting, um, some woman came in and, um, and said, oh, it smells of money. <laughs> it smells of money. Of money. And of money. And our dad said, no, courage. And of course the whole picture is to do with courage of kindness. Some war artists suffered terribly from what they saw, what they experienced. But Stanley seems to have perhaps even used the painting of this to kind of deal with, with, deal with the war. He had a way of overcoming things spiritually. I don't quite know how he did it, but he seemed to sort of work his way through it and not be sort of too overwhelmed by the agony of it all. But the centrepiece, the climax, is this vast resurrection scene, a joyful reunion of souls, handshakes between soldiers reunited having died at different times on the battlefield animals amongst them. There was a notice to say that they wanted, they wanted more volunteers in the infantry. And um, he saw that, that there was a chance of getting back to that area near the Vardar Hills. He said that there was a particular track and he said that every kilometre of that is part of my soul. Why is Christ so small? If we'd seen a big picture of Christ, it would have given a different feeling, a completely different feeling. If he hadn't had the whole scheme in his mind with that as the culminating point, he could not have painted that picture of the man scrubbing the floor mm. because 
you think of the whole thing. It is the whole thing. And everything comes together in that. And the construction of this mm. is just. Even those, the putty, the line of the putties, and the main. I love those trees going away. Yeah, absolutely, you look right at the top. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, sorry, you look But that, so I never noticed so until the other it's day. It's rather like over the hills and far away she danced with Piggly Bland.